Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with PayPal Student. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about Nibo in one video because Nibo is a very simple application. Last week's video on what's on my iPad made me realize that I hadn't reviewed this awesome application for you guys. Then one of you guys just had to mention it. That's when I decided that Nibo must be reviewed. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go paperless with your study or your business. If you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. The application doesn't have a home page like most applications do. When you open it, it directly takes you to your workspace. Nibo has a three level hierarchy filing system. It has what I'd like to call a shelf, you know, since that is the icon they chose to use in this application. You can add as many shelves as you like, like sort of create yourself a little library here, so to speak, like a digital library. In my case, I only have just one and it's called my collection. I know it's a boring name. So under this shelf, I have two files, though the icon used here looks more like notebooks and the application actually calls them notebooks. But I like to think of them as folders because under these folders or files, I can then go further to creating individual documents. So that's why I call it a file or folder. So I have a folder for my blog post and I have another one for YouTube scripts. So Nibo is for two kinds of people, creatives who, whose creative juices flow better when they write their content, like when they actually hand write their content. I used to be one of those kind of people for a very long time and I hated it because I needed to write whatever it is that I'm creating, an essay or whatever. I needed to write it first on paper and then I would have to type it. So Nibo helps you skip the part when you need to type what you've already written and that essentially obviously cuts down the amount of time that you need to do your work and the second group of people are those of you guys that either don't like typing or you're just really slow at typing so when you have projects that you need to submit and you have a lot of things that you need to type you can just write them down and convert everything to text those are the main people that i think nibo caters for for this review however we're going to create everything from scratch we'll make our own shelf called nibo review and then i'll create a folder called nibo review and a file called Nibo review yeah just keep it simple and when you create a new notebook which i personally choose to call a file or folder you can customize the language Nibo has a lot of languages to choose from this application supports most languages i have seen in any ocr application no doubt about that so chances are you'll probably find what you need when you swipe to the left on your folders you have you have sync and more you can export the whole folder and the application doesn't give you options on what format you export it just exports it as a nibo document meaning that you can only open and edit it in nibo which is very useful when you're backing up but not very useful if you want to export all your files out to use them in a different application so i'm still under more you can edit the notebook or folder file and lastly you can delete it which i will not do for obvious reasons for our file, we will write Nibo review and make it a headline. The editing in Nibo though, they only allow you to delete content. At least they actually allow you to confirm if you really want to delete the file. But still, the application doesn't even have a trash can. So when you delete something, it's gone forever. So be warned. You can also just swipe a file to the left and delete it. This is like a quick shortcut if you want to delete your file. They don't really give you a lot of editing options. To be frank, I haven't needed them in this application. You can also sync your notebooks to a cloud service. So you can choose iCloud, Google Drive, or Dropbox, which is very rare for most applications. When you first purchase Nibo, they'll ask you to sign in. I think I think you can still use the application even if you're not signed in. I ha I've had Nibo for a very long time. I don't really remember. So if you recently just purchased Nibo, please let me know in the comment section down below if it's actually possible to use Nibo without signing in. But once you've signed in, there is no place to sign out or change your login information. I'm not sure how I feel Feel about that i've never needed to change my login details in any application so far but it's just good to have it you know to just have that option available no anyone else feel like that now to start writing you can just tap on this icon to put the application in full screen if that's what you prefer i don't 
so under the pen icon you have your pen you can't customize it unlike most note taking applications that have at least two types of pens Niba only has one then next you have the eraser which you can cast which you can't customize either it erases per stroke their tools are very basic and straightforward next you have the pen size to choose from and you can test it in this little small window so you don't exit the window to find out if you like the pen size or not which is very thoughtful i mostly use the 0.35 this is the thickness that works for me just remember the thickness of the pen doesn't actually affect the font or the size of the text i'm just saying you can customize the color of your ink to exactly what you want you can delete the colors or add a new color to the toolbar i have no idea what the limit is for this because i currently have 14 colors and i can still add more what are the chances you're making a document with more than 14 colors next we have the add option you can add a photo from your camera or from your photos nibo doesn't support drag and drop which is obviously a bad thing um so you have to add your photos manually you can annotate your images but nibo will not convert the text that you write within the image little box so um, you can also add a sketch so both your image and your sketch are both considered as sketches and the same rules applies to them you can't convert anything that you ink in them into text which makes sense the eraser in these two when you're using the sketching tool then your eraser will erase per pixel which is really good because when you're drawing most of the times you just want to erase a small section not a whole stroke next you can add a diagram from this icon you can already tell that this will probably be a mind map or a chart flow so in in this case the application will convert everything that you write both the shapes and the text then you can also add math formulas which is fantastic so if you're not really good with office well microsoft word to be precise this is a great alternative for microsoft word because you can also create tables as well the application has a hard time with graphs though so you can't use this application to create graphs i'm not sure if they're going to be adding that i don't even know if it's necessary but i think that's just asking for too much you can resize each of these as you like just tap in the middle of the image and you have these three dots that appear at the top right corner and you can then copy or delete this section when you search nibo searches your handwriting as well and it searches through all the documents that you have in that folder so it will show you how many words were found in each document so you'll know what document contains the term that you're looking for what which one contains the most of that term and then next you have your undo and redo buttons those are very simple they don't really need any explanation after that you have these three dots here under menu you can convert your whole document just tap convert all if you haven't done so already i tend to convert each section as i go to make sure that i don't have any mistakes and that if i do have mistakes that i edit them immediately so i don't really i don't write a document then convert everything all at once i write a little section and i convert it immediately that works better for me next you can clear everything in the document you can also share your document as text html as a pdf or as a word document and the cloud you can disconnect your icloud service and you can choose how to you can select sync over cellular which i personally suggest you turn off if you don't have a good data plan and you can share notes with my script which helps the application work better for you you then have this amazing tutorial which is very useful when you're starting to use Nibo. It will show you useful shortcuts that will help you to get the best out of Nibo when you're creating your documents. You guys will see how those shortcuts work when I do a video showing you guys how I use Nibo. Then you can have help where you find the user guide, the frequently asked questions and support. Under settings you have the option to restore colors where you can restore the colors in the app to factory settings which i don't want to do i like my options you have the option to turn on the conversion preview basically this is an option that that lets you see the conversion of your handwriting in real time you can turn it off if you find it annoying but personally i, li I like it because it makes me aware of the mistakes that i need to fix as soon as they are made then for maths you can choose the kind of approximation you prefer and the angle unit and then you can choose whether or not the application solves your equations 
then lastly we have about where you can get to know a little bit about the application about the developers if you're interested in that kind of stuff and that is everything you need to know about nebo give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what you guys think about nebo in the comment section down below so until next time i will see you guys in the next video bye